Good morning. Uh, big day has arrived. Um, I've got Pom Pig Social up in Shetterford, uh, just outside Birmingham. Uh, the car's all packed. It's silly o'clock in the morning, and I'm um, just about to leave. I've got about a three hour, fifteen minute drive. So let's get on. I'm here, I'm set up, I've got three rods out, fish just boshed right straight in front of me. We're on a little lake called Stella um, in Shatterford Lakes. <clears throat> um, there's five of us here at the moment, I think there's one more to turn up. Uh, I've had the rods in, what, 20 minutes, half hour, I'm getting liners on all three at the moment. Someone's already had one, um, nice little 10 pound common. Uh, yeah. Looking good. I'll give you a quick view of the lake. There you see, you've got John next to me. At the end there, you've got Zoe and her husband, Darren. Over there, you got Simon and his brother, who I can't remember the name of. I'm useless with names, but they are. Um, there's fish showing everywhere. Yeah, it's a tiny little lake, but it's all ours. No one else is on there. It's all pond pigs, and hopefully we're going to smash it. It's already started. The guy over there, he's just had one. So yeah, good start of the day. I'll keep you updated. Yeah, been there five minutes. I'm a duck to already. I've had a first bite. It's a poxy bream. Never mind, it's a tiny little bream as well. But let's get it back in, see if we can get a carp. Well, just a quick update really. Uh, all gone very quiet. Um, it's been one more bream out. No more carp though. Uh, there's a lot on the surface. So I'm giving it a go with the old bird biscuits and a pop up. Um, yeah, other than that. There's loads showing, I just can't get any of them at the moment. But I'm going to persevere for another couple of hours and see how we go from there. Hopefully I'll keep you updated with more fish. Oh! <sighs> second bite, second broom. Never mind. Get this back, see if we can get a carp. Right, so yeah, second bream. Both coming on a rig with a little yellow pop up. So that rig is now going. I've already made this one up. I'm going for a nice snowman. Kabuna oily with a nice yellow pop up on top. Let's see if that will be a cop. Yeah, so. Uh, I think it's Dave, that one. He's in for his second fish. <laughs> yeah, so it's definitely a carp, so it's two for in there. 
Looks like only a little one, but they all count. Oh, losing the picture there. Margins of where the cat's going to be, bro. Literally, I only just went to the tree for a piss. Good scrapper. Ah. Well, that's a carp, lad. A little common. A little scrapper, though. Is it No. No. Well, just quick update really. Um, it's been very quiet for me. Hold up. That was a bit of a savage line. Right, yeah, that's what I'm saying, it's been very quiet for me, um, I've only had the two beams so far, John next to me has had two, and I think he might be, no. Slapped by geese. Um, two very nice fish there. Um, Dave over the back there, he's had uh, four so far, he's lost another three. So, yeah, um, I think it's Stuart who turned up late. He's to my left, he's had a bream as well. Um, yeah. What well, I'm hoping, it's that same one again. I'm hoping now uh, the sun's gone in, it's getting a bit cooler, they're going to start going down the bottom of feeding. But seems to be bite time in some areas, uh, just not mine at the moment. Um, well, hopefully, I'll keep you updated with fish information. Well, it's now morning of day two, very quiet night, unfortunately. Um, Zoe had one about half ten last night, small carp. Um, to be honest, I was too lazy and knackered to get a picture or video of it, so hopefully I'll get one off it later. Um, yeah, I've redone the rods, having a cup of tea. See what the day brings. Well, I was just putting breakfast on, and this little bugger's whipped off another bream. That's free for the session now. And they're starting to annoy me. Oh well, never mind. Let's uh, get it back, see if we can get the rod out again, get a carp on. Right. After finally baking my way through the beam, a carp's come in. Lovely, common, very lively. £9.12. Lovely, stunning fish, look at that. Show the other side. Beautiful. Now let's get it back, see if we can get some more. So yeah, basically 24 hours in, 
first cup. Uh, I did have another bream this morning, so it's three in total of bream, and that was a lovely nine pound twelve. Uh, yeah, nine pound twelve ounce common. Uh, I've redone all three rods. Get them back on the spots. See what else today brings. Now to bring me back, it's number four. Well, just a quick update really. Um, it's all gone very quiet, apart from about ten minutes ago. John next door uh, had a bite, and exactly the same time I had a bite as well. Uh, he landed his mirror, um, and I was had a bite on a zig, which I've not really done before. So I thought I'd give it a go as a cruising around the surface. Um, yeah, so first ever zig bite and I lost it at the net, absolutely gutted. But I've chucked it back out, same spot, hopefully we'll get another one. They're yeah, still cruising around on top, but well yeah, absolutely gutted. Never mind, we'll keep going. Ooh. Right, finally, carp number two. Another common. Yeah, a bit of a pick me up after losing the one on the zig a little earlier. But another beautiful little common. Show the other side. Yeah. Still lively. There's a lot of bigger ones in there, which I'm after. So I'm going to get this back and give it another go. Beautiful. I haven't done a video since the uh, match with Kev, but I've actually been out. Um, I popped out uh, for a quick overnight or after work, a late shift at work. So it was about half eight. Um, got my rods in the water about nine o'clock. Um, and I had to leave by about 11 o'clock Saturday morning, so it weren't too long. But here's the results of that. over the moon. It's a quick little session. I was really happy because no one else was uh, catching. Uh, there was a couple beside me and a couple were over the road. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, it was a good little session. After all the cut, beam number five. Oh, I'm gonna get myself a little crown and call myself the beam king at this weight. Well, that's it, end of day two. Uh, everything's gone very quiet across the lake uh, since my last bring. Um, nothing for a good few hours, not even any liners. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to settle in, stick something on the pad, have a watch, and hope we get something during the night. Hopefully I'll see you during the night, if not, I'll see you in the morning when we get ready to pack up. It's not a carp. It's another bream. There's six now. Oh well. Well, it's the last morning. Um, very quiet night for myself, and most really. The only one I've heard that has one is um, Ammon, who had a 26 pound cat. Um, yeah, so that's an excellent result for him. Just show you a picture of that. Oh, yeah, well done to Ammon. Um, we've got a couple of hours left. Um, I've just re I've recast the rods already. Um, just had a bream, number six. Um, yeah, so just leave the rods out, start packing up soon. Uh, ready for the long journey on. 
Um, just want to say a big thank you to Zoe really for organising it. Um, yeah, it's been a brilliant experience coming up, fishing a new lake, um, meeting some good people, putting some names to faces, or faces to names I should say. Um, yeah, it's been brilliant. Thoroughly enjoyed it. But keep the rods out for another couple of hours, pack up, see if we can get another carp on. No more for you. But yeah, see if we can get another carp on. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.